What's up everybody, it's Jason for Vasa Productions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your B-roll and animate it quickly and easily inside the edit tab in DaVinci Resolve. Coming up. All right, so here we are inside the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. The first thing I wanna do is take our clips and put them inside the timeline. So we have three clips up here of B-roll. I'm gonna left click and highlight these and then just left click and drag them into the timeline here. Take this and decrease the size of the timeline and you can see our three clips right here. Now these are a little bit long for my taste so we're gonna shorten them up real quick. I'm just gonna come over here to about the four second mark. And on my keyboard I have trim to end set up as B on the keyboard. So I'm just gonna hit B. It's gonna take that clip and shorten it up. Come to the next one. This one also a little long for my taste. Let's shorten it up. And let's come to the next one here and trim to the end and just shorten that one up to there. So now we have our three different clips and you can see if I let these play, right? They're different angles so they transition really well just because they're shot at different angles and we have people doing these exercises so everything looks pretty good. But let's say they weren't the exact same or I didn't like the way that things flowed into each other from clip to clip. Then I wanna create some type of a transition to make things easier for myself. So if we go into the effects library up here and left click on that, come down to video transitions, Resolve has a bunch of built-in transitions, but you can actually customize these. And I love the way that you can do this. It's really simple and easy. So I'm gonna come down here to motion. And the second one down is the push transition. And if I just drag my mouse over it, you can see what it's gonna do to those two clips. It's gonna push to the right. So I'm gonna take this push and drag it between the two clips right there okay so it's going to start on the second clip right there and what i'm going to do now is let this play and we're going to see how this transition creates motion between the clips and you can see that right and it looks okay but it doesn't look slick and it doesn't look professional it's kind of rigid but what resolve allows you to do is take that clip left click on that transition right there so we can see the two clips left click on the transition come up into here if I just left click on this, I can select ease in and out, and that creates a much smoother transition between the two now. Looks a lot more professional, looks a lot better. If I wanna add a little bit more to this, left click on that transition again, come up here, and come up to motion blur, and I can select how much motion blur. You can see the clips getting blurry between each other, right? You can see this, you can't almost see anything there. But if I just come over here to like, let's say 0.12, I get some realistic motion blur, but it's not overkill. So now if I just let this play by hitting spacebar, there's a little bit of motion blur between those two clips. Now what I can do is I can actually create a preset out of this transition. So it's gonna take these clips and it's gonna push to the left like that and it looks great. So what I can do now is right click on the transition, left click on create transition preset, and then I can type in what I wanna name this and create a preset. I'm gonna type in push left two because I already have this in my preset says push left. I'm just gonna left click on okay. And then if I come down here and slide down to user, you can see push left two is right here, which is awesome, right? So now it's a new preset for me to, to use if I wanna use that. If I just left click and drag push left two to the next set of clips here, the second and third clip, it's gonna do the exact same thing that it did before. But Again, one of the cool things is if I left click on this one, right, it's the same transition, I come up here to push left, left click this, and do push up instead, now it's gonna take that preset and it's gonna push up, okay? So we have a totally different transition and it's already smoothed out and it's already inherited and it already has the motion blur from when we did it before. Now if I wanna right click on this, I can hit create transition preset again, left click on that, and we're gonna hit push up two, because I already have it saved in mine. Left click on okay, and now if I come over here to my user presets, we've got push left two and push up two. And you can do that for right, you can do it for down. So you can create four different transitions just by using the push preset in DaVinci Resolve. So now if we let this play through, see that transition smoothly there and then a nice push up there. Also, if you wanna add these transitions to your favorites that are easy to access, just come over here to push left two, left click on the star, it's now a favorite, and push up to left click on that star, and it's also a favorite, and they appear over here under your favorites. You can see push left two and push up two. 
All right, if you found this helpful, smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time.